I know it's been a while, but uh, there's no real reason for that. I just haven't <laughs> made a made a video in a while. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm back with another commentary, and this is another game from the Humble Bundle, and it's actually um, what's it called? It's called Crayon Physics Deluxe, and as you can see, it's uh, centered around puzzles, which uh, you're supposed to draw different shapes with that crayon you see on screen there, it's actually the cursor, and basically you draw shapes to try to get the ball, the circle thing, you try to get it to the star, then you collect the star and you move to the next level, and basically when you get enough stars, you can uh, unlock different islands which have different challenges and uh, uh, different uh, functions I guess, like uh, the second island unlocks hinges so you can draw hinges and things like that. Um, it's not really my favorite type of game. I, I do like puzzle games, but it's, I'm more of a action first person shooter kind of person, but I guess for the price you get with the Humble Bundle, it's not too bad at all. It just kind of seems more like the type of game you'd get on like a mobile, mobile phone, like a mobile game type thing. But uh, it's, it's entertaining for what you pay for it, I guess, which wasn't very much at all. Um, so there's just a couple of things I want to talk about. This is probably going to be a shorter video, but there's just a couple of things that I posted on my blog at neeksandgirds.com. This is just a couple of things I want to mention in this commentary. So the first thing is a robotic arm that was made by HDT Global. I think it's actually pretty cool invention it's basically a robotic arm that's like I think it's like the most realistic robotic arm ever made or something like that it's um, like the dexterity is really high I actually posted a video of it on Neeks and Gerds um, and it shows the robotic arms actually dancing <laughs> and it looks it's kind of creepy how human like it actually looks <laughs> So I actually uh, joked on my post, I actually said that uh, we're one step closer to a robot takeover, and it's true. I mean, we keep making robots more and more human-like, it's only a matter of time, right? But um, it's called the MK1 robotic arm from HDT Global. Yeah, so if you Google that, you'll probably see photos and videos and things like that, and you'll see what I mean. It looks pretty human-like. Um, oh, and that's from August 23rd on Neeks and Gerds, if you want to look that up, on neeksandgerds.com. Uh, link, I'll put a link in the description. Um, second thing I wanted to talk about was a post on Neeks and Gerds I made was yesterday, I believe. August 24th, yep, August 24th. I'll link that in the description as well, but uh, it's about piracy, and it's centered around a news article that I read yesterday about a 15-year-old student who was actually arrested for piracy. And we always hear those stories about uh, people getting fined or people getting arrested for piracy and things like that. And um, I guess for those who take part in piracy, it's not really threatening because it doesn't really seem like that person would be you, you know? Like, you hear someone getting fined and you think, well, that sucks for them, but that's not going to happen to me. But it's not its not necessarily true, as this 15-year-old student found out, uh, after he was arrested for downloading and sharing torrents on his school's network. And it's actually pretty messed up because his teacher found out he was doing it. Um, actually, it was the head teacher, so I'm guessing it was like a private school. But... Uh, his head teacher found out and she actually turned him into the police so he was arrested for it and yesterday he was on trial I believe for that I'm not sure how it turned out but <laughs> I guess we can only hope the best but yes teacher actually turned him in for downloading torrents and sharing torrents um so basically the point I want to make with that is I don't think we should necessarily, well, I shouldn't even say necessarily, I don't 
advocate piracy. I think it's just a different way to steal things, even though it it seems different. Like I understand where pirates are coming from. It's just uh, a way to save money, I guess, and it doesn't really seem like you're stealing anything. When in reality, it's against the law, and it is actually uh, infringing on copyrights and actually stealing money from people, basically. So, I know it's tempting, and I see where you're coming from, but it is against the law. And the question that I raised in my post about the kid was actually whether piracy laws should depend on the age of the person who violated the law. Um, because uh, younger pirates won't necessarily uh, see the consequences or see what they're actually doing to deserve uh, being arrested or fined or things like that. But ultimately, I said that the law should uh, stay as it is because it's just another law. And, um, I mean, if they get arrested for it, that's just a lesson learned. I mean, I doubt they're going <laughs> to get life in jail or anything like that. Um, it's just another lesson learned, and a law is a law. Uh, stealing is stealing. I'm sure you see where I'm coming from with this, but, um, yeah, age shouldn't, uh, alter the law, I guess. Well, in certain instances, age shouldn't alter the law. Like, in piracy, it should. But, um, yeah, it's basically all I wanted to go over. You can check out the two posts I mentioned in the description, and it's kind of a short video, but that's alright, I'll probably, I might do a bunch of short videos instead of only a few longer videos, just change it up a little bit, it seems to fit more of my commentary style, I guess. And uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in my next video, it might be today, might be tomorrow might be in a week. I honestly can't say. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. But um, subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and like this so I can know that you like these kinds of videos to know if I should make more. Uh, leave comments with suggestions, you know, all that good stuff to help me make my videos and my channel better. Tell your friends, you know, all that good stuff. I'll see you in my next video.